what does everyone with a passion for cars do when they can't go and do it properly? They then go to the road. It's not good. I, I'll admit it's not good. It's the fear and the excitement all mixed into one. You can't get the feeling anywhere else. These are London's street races. They chase each other around the city's roads late at night in cars specially modified to be loud and fast. They then post the videos online. When we do it, we don't put anyone else at, at risk because we do it at times of the day where there's no other cars on the road. Excessive speed is dangerous and people who do so are not in proper control of their vehicles and more likely to be involved in a collision. That's a huge risk, not only to their own lives, but also to the lives of other road users. These drivers say they're using public roads because racetracks are too expensive and have strict noise restrictions. If we had somewhere illegal for us to go and do what we love doing, like we have no reason to be anywhere else. I mean, we did have a local racetrack that just recently got shut down. So we've got one less place to go to. Residents in Enfield say they're being kept up by the noise. Now, Transport for London are considering installing more speed cameras to stop street racing. Already we've put in place with Enfield Council a public spaces protection order, which means that using a vehicle in an antisocial manner becomes a criminal offence. But will it work? People see us as a bunch of thugs that antisocially drive, but I can say hands up now that they're, they're completely wrong. Like we're just normal people that want to have fun in cars. We've seen the tragic consequences in the past when people speeding lose control of their vehicles. Families and lives could be shattered by deaths on the road. Jamie Morland, BBC London News.